Hi guys, it's Shelly from The Lemonade Store and today I'm just gonna do a quick little studio vlog um, slash making some ornaments that I'm doing for um, a little mini craft fair and I thought I would show you guys um, my process and kind of what I'm doing and most of it is stuff I actually haven't done before so um, I'm not gonna guarantee it's all gonna be perfect but that's part of the fun. So I have Bella with me today. Hi B. can you say hi? Say hi B. B. Can you say hi? Say hi, Bee. That's Bella. Bella is my old pup pup and she is 11. And so we are gonna uh, get ready and start the process. And I think we're gonna do wood slices today. That's what we're gonna work on and see if we can do that. So, oh, and before we get started, I have two shout outs that I want to um, uh, do today. And the first one goes to Stephanie who has been such an awesome supporter of my shop and my YouTube and my Instagram. She's amazing. And she sent me a thank you note. So I just wanted to say, thanks, Stephanie, you're the best. And um, big virtual hugs. And then also, I wanna give a shout out to, I got a Patreon other than my family. So that's so exciting. So I wanna give a shout out to my Patreon. So Linda D, I just wanna say thank you so much. Um, she is buying me a cup of coffee or a lemonade in this instance um, every month. And I really appreciate that. So thank you so, 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 so much. Um, and also you guys, YouTube, has let me put a merch shelf on my videos. So if you um, are interested and you wanna wear some lemonade store swag, um, I've got some t-shirts and some sweatshirts and some tank tops that are on Teespring right now. And um, you can just click below, I think it's below the video how it works. And um, they have some cute ones. I bought a sweatshirt, it's kind of like an off the shoulder sweatshirt and I love it. So super cool stuff. Thanks you guys for your support. And if you like this video, please subscribe and like, and let's get started. Okay, so here is the wood slice that I just made. And it's, um, let's see, it is, I think it's like, almost eight at its widest point on that way and about 10. So it's like eight by 10, almost eight by 11 um, inches. And um, it's it's pretty easy. I'm surprised, I actually found out that it felt like it was a lot easier than I thought. So all you are going to need is a wood slice and I'll link to the ones I bought on Amazon. I thought they were a little bit cheaper than I went into the store, unless you have like a coupon or something. And then um, I used paint pens for the lettering. And I did this actually um, before I did this one and I, I freehanded it. I'm like, you know, it was okay. But then I used a stencil for the family part and the love part because I really wanted to make sure I got the loop and everything correct. Um, and then I did by hand this line, the and sign, and um, this one. So it kind of just gave me like a nice base and I'll show you how I kind of went about that. So we'll do it like a stencil-ish kind of thing, but then we're gonna fill it in. So super fun and easy to do. Um, I've done, I've been painting these cause I'm getting ready, like I said, for a craft fair. So there's, you could use two different types of paint. Um, I'm trying this chalk paint. I use this, if this one, um, it works pretty good because it's like you really only need like one coat. You can um, use this one. And I got this on sale because the Joann's by me was going out. So I bought like a bunch of this stuff. Um, but I find that just using like the permanent acrylic is a little bit easier because it's not so thick. So you can kind of go around and get a cleaner line. Um, so just make sure that you get the right one acrylic paint. This is the Rust-Oleum Anita's all-purpose acrylic, and I think I got this at Hobby Lobby, yeah. Um, and, but I'll link to that below as well. And this one takes two coats, but I feel like it gets a cleaner look. So make sure you shake up your paint before you start painting. And I'll fast forward through this, but we're gonna paint, I'll show you. Um, and I just use for painting, I just, try to find like, um, for my acrylic paints, I just find like cheapy pens, but I like the square um, tip. I don't even know what this is called, but I like one that looks like that. So 
let's go through and I'll fast forward this part. My tips for doing this to get a nice clean edge is to make sure that you have enough paint pooling on the outside edge and then start to drag it down. And then don't worry about the center so much and make sure you turn your work if it's easier for you. So I usually put like a dollop and then I go around the edge. You could probably prep the wood with like gesso or something, but I'm gonna seal it. I think it's gonna be okay because it's like made for wood. I haven't noticed it not, you know, I feel like it covers really well. Okay, so this is dry. This is actually a different piece, so I can keep recording um, that I made earlier. So now we are going to um, cut out our lettering on a stencil. Okay, so I have this um, Oracle stencil film and um, we're gonna basically use um, this to cut out on the silhouette. And I just bought a silhouette, so I'm not gonna give you any tutorials on that yet. I'm still learning how to use it but I actually am really loving how it's working. So um, I did the lettering on my iPad and then I, I pushed it over to my um, silhouette. So we'll do, I'll do a separate video on that. But in the meantime, you can either do a stencil and get ready or you can just letter directly on this, which I'm doing half and half. So let me go cut up my stencil and I'll come right back. Okay, so I cut out my stencil and I actually did three because I'm making a bunch of these. And I think they're so cute, I might actually sell these in my shop. So let's see, I'm going to trim this up so that we're only using what we need. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna do this, because I'm not painting, I'm going to outline my letters. So instead of using it like, like you would take paint and stamp it with a, I'm gonna use a marker to outline my letters because I want it to be super crisp. And then if there's anything I don't like, I can, come on dude, oh, here we go. Um, I can just fix it by hand, but I don't need to use, you know, my super tough vinyl to do this. So I just need, I just need help with the outlines because I want to make sure that my loops all look good. So I'm weeding out and you could probably, you know, you could probably use the other one as a stencil too. So I probably should have kept that and just used it for a different stencil. So I'm not wasting it. Okay, next time. See, told you, it's not gonna be perfect. We're figuring this all out together. Okay, so I'm gonna get some transfer tape and we're gonna move this over to here and then we're gonna outline it. Let's see. So, I don't know what, I'll have to look up what this um, transfer tape is, but I've been using this lately and I am definitely liking it. So this is a good, a good one and I will put everything below for you. Okay, so we are going to transfer this guy to the wood. Save your transfer film because you can reuse it a couple of times. And so here is the way that I kind of like to do it. So I take a very small paint pen and I am using these Uni, Uni, Uni Posca pens. 
and um, just make sure you shake it and it's the kind where you um, you um, push down on it to make sure that you got um, ink coming out. So I am going to outline. You don't have to do it this way. I just like I just like the way that this kind of is looking. So go through and outline your stencil. Okay, so now that we outlined it, we can remove our stencil. Okay, so we have our outlines. And then you're literally just gonna go in. Oops. And now we're just gonna go in and fill in our lettering. Okay, so we're gonna let this coat dry. We're gonna do another coat so that you're gonna do it twice so it, has, so it looks good. And um, the next step is to do, um, I'm gonna add some lettering here and a little bit of lettering there. So here is what I do to keep my lettering straight. I grab a piece of blue tape. You could use a laser, I've done that too, but my laser just broke, so I'm using blue tape and I haven't replaced it yet. So I'm just gonna take a piece of blue tape. Find where I want it. Okay, let's see. Okay, I like that. So, okay, so I'm just gonna use this as my guide and I'm gonna write the smaller writing right in here. So, that's it and then you can add like a little bow if you want you could put a floral up here um, that's basically it and then don't forget to do a second coat and I would I'm gonna do a second coat on all of it and if you make a mistake and you don't like um, let's say your lettering and you don't like it just put some more black paint over it let it dry and hopefully that'll blend in like I haven't the with the black it works but if you use like a lighter color like if you're doing white a white background with black lettering I think that's gonna be tough so um two coats and then when you're all done I sp I usually spray it with um some sort of a protector before I put like a bow or something on it and this is the Krylon matte finish so I go outside because it stinks, so don't, and don't do it inside. Um, so make sure you go outside. And I usually put it in like a box um, and then spray it and then let it dry.
so that is it and I hope you guys liked this little tutorial and I'm gonna be um, probably making a couple other ornaments so hopefully I'll get some videos uploaded so thank you guys so much for watching 